Hi, welcome to the video. My name is Ikronic, and today we're taking a look at the Destiny 2 Weekly Reset for July 5th, 2022. And the main new thing this week is going to be the Double Nightfall Ordeal Reward. So if you wanted to get the Nightfall Unique Drop, whatever it is, whatever, look it up, it is doubly dropping. On top of everything else that drops, Ascendant Shards, Enhancement Cores, everything in the Nightfall is except for the rank. And hey, right before we get into it, just wanted to say that I do live stream right here on YouTube, doing some Destiny 2 open lobbies for raids, seasonal stuff, Grandmasters, come check it out. And for the strike this week for the Nightfall Ordeal, we have the Proving Grounds, which I personally for 100k would recommend Legend, which you should keep in mind that every level of difficulty will have different rewards, which is doubled. As far as the Nightfall Unique goes, I'm sorry to say that we, or at least I, still don't know what it is. Usually LightGG will say on their page, but it's been wrong many times in a row and it still says Arms Dealer. So again, you guys are gonna have to go to the comments down below to figure out what that is. For the Strike playlist, it's gonna be Solar Singe. Rotating Crucible playlist is going to be Momentum Control, very useful for certain quest completions. Vault of Glass Challenge, Wait For It, taking place in the first encounter, and in this encounter you have to wait for the Wyverns to start sacrificing before you can kill them. And for the Rotating Raid and Dungeon, we have the Deepstone Crypt and Prophecy, both of which gives Pinnacle for at least the boss fight. The Valve Disciple Raid Challenge is going to be the Looping Catalyst, taking place in the final boss encounter, and in this encounter, do not lose the Leeching buff throughout the first part of the encounter. Essentially, just make sure you do a perfect set of swaps and you do not lose it. Moving on, let's go ahead and take a look at the seasonal challenges for week 7. Wow, we still have no week 5s? Oh, that's upsetting. <laughs> But for week 7, I have one completed automatically. First one's gonna be the new part of the quest line, Bound in Sorrow 7, and defeating champions on the Leviathan, completing Sever Reconciliation with only Void subclass with Void Kinetic and Stasis weapons. This one is killing the Nightmares after Tier 3, and opening Opulent Chests, which I've already done, shaping any haunted weapon. I have not done any of these, so maybe it's gonna be retroactive. Defeating targets with Trace Rifles and Shotguns and Gambit. Complete matches with Glory. Complete any strike on Grandmaster. Keeping in mind, these last two are gonna be a triple plus 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 after that we have the eververse inventory oh look it's a charity event dog if you don't know you can actually buy this and it's part of a charity event i'm sure there's more details on bungie's website either way let's take a look at the different bright dust options for example the rocket stomp which is li literally you just stomping and a rocket goes off obviously fourth of july style we have the springtime scales which uh, adds an ornament to the agar scepter wow those are actually really nice texture we have the transmit effect of the ghost purple which is very I thought it was old, but it seems like it's old. And of course, the Seven Sisters, which is an ornament like this. For the other Bright Dust section, first of all, we have the All Alone, which is an emo, literally infinite emo of you just standing here swinging a swing by yourself. We have the Knitting Project, what I guess you knit something. I see some symbols on there. And you open it up, and it's, okay, it's just it's just the Vanguard Crest. Uh, we have an ornament for the Outstringer, which I actually don't recognize. Oh, no, I do recognize this. Oh, yeah, this was from Warmind, or a long time ago, right? Not War Mind, the other one. The one with the robots. What was that DLC? The Rasputin robot. <laughs> I missed that robot. Uh, after that, we have an ornament for a Sparrow, which is the Egregor. Wow, this is pretty cool. Following that, we have an ornament for the Path of Burning Steps. I'm currently on my Titan, so perhaps this ornament's going to be different depending on what class you're on. This one is just for the one I have. We have an ornament for the Black Talon, which looks like a legit sword which is actually really cool uh we have a ghost projection some transmit effect like the reef shimmer which looks like that we have the reflection effects which looks like this i do like that one the hive arrival which looks like that and of course some certain shaders this one is extremely purple a uh, byzantium lotus is extremely whiny uh, like as in like the the the, the alcohol version uh, we have the coastal suede and finally the temperature wash and of course the gunsmith's inventory first up we have the legal action which is a moving target osmosis not really what i'm looking for although we do have a number of range stuff and a reload masterwork unfortunately after that the enyo d with tunnel vision sympathetic arsenal again not really what you're looking for we do have some mag and range stuff which again does not have a masterwork until you buy it um i don't know what that is we have the agma pr6 which has demolitionist plus wellspring and I have to say that this is actually a very unique combo. I think this is the only weapon that can have both of these options on at once. And the rest of this is decent, although I'd prefer not to be a reload master. I am going to pick this one up because it is quite unique. Following that, we have the Galoo RR3, which is no distractions, focus, fury. Not a terrible combo for PvE, although I believe this can have snapshot in there and pretty good for PvP. Uh, we have Palerma B with Explosive Light Ensemble. Again, not a terrible combo, actually pretty good. Does not have impact casing, does have reload-based stuff and velocity. I personally still like auto-loading plus Explosive Light, and you can craft it. And finally, the Crown Splitter, which is Relentless Counter-Attack. It can get Relentless Whirlwind, Relentless Vorpal, 
which I do prefer. And of course, a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Specifically, a big thank you to Mom and Dad, Postal Lens, Unbox World, My Nice, Dubacon, Student Panther, Case, Rank, and Follow, Support on Patreon. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed my next talk, and I will see you guys on the next one.